welcome to John O'Groats, the most northeasterly point of mainland UK. Here, tomorrow, is summer solstice, the 21st of June, otherwise known as the longest day of the year. In approximately that direction, the sun will rise at two minutes past four in the morning, and then approximately 837 miles in that direction, it will set again at 9.35 in Land's End. Question is, can we get to Land's End before the sun does? Welcome to the Bentley Sun Run. Good morning, here we are, same spot as we were last night, only this time it's 4.02. The sun is rising over there, and it's time now to race it to Land's End, somewhere over there, 837 miles. Google tells us that this drive should be anywhere between 13 and a half and 16 hours. And we know for a fact that the sun will be in the sky for about 18 and a half hours. Now you might be thinking, well, that sounds easy, 18 and a half hours for a potentially 14 hour drive. Well, if you do some quick maths, that means that we have to do that journey at an average speed of about 45, 46 miles an hour. But of course, chances are we're not going to be doing that. We have got at our peril things like traffic jams, roadworks, slower vehicles, and of course the big one, petrol. We're on a four litre turbocharged Bentley Continental, and I'm sure you won't be surprised to learn that this thing is fairly thirsty. Now joining me for the drive is a good friend of mine, Tim Hutton. Tim and I are no strangers to a big, long road trip. In fact, over the years, we've done, I dread to think, 20, 30,000 miles around the world yep. in some capacity, in some car. So I thought, who else to call to join me as a support driver and co-driver for this trip than Tim? And Tim is joining us from our friends at Classic Driver Magazine. Today's drive is pretty much cut into three chapters, two of which are very beautiful and one, well, probably not as beautiful. We're obviously starting here in Scotland in the Highlands where we've got dramatic rolling mountains and scenery. We've then got the long slog through England, all of which is going to be on motorways and if we are going to hit bad weather, I have a feeling that's going to be that section. And then of course we're finishing the polar opposite end of the country with yet more beautiful scenery in Cornwall. So we mentioned the downside or the potential downside to our weapon of choice, the Bentley Continental, that being fuel economy. Now at the moment, as far as I can work out, that is potentially the only downside. Otherwise, this seems to be the perfect choice. We're sat in heated massaging leather seats that even have the option to pump through cold air conditioned air if things get a bit too warm. We've got hot air scarves blowing warm air at the back of our necks as we're cruising along with the roof down. Bear in mind it's eight degrees Celsius at the moment and still quite pleasant. Well, we've made it to T-Bay services over the border into England and, well, we've basically been smashing it. We've got loads and loads of time ahead of us. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a leisurely lunch because ultimately we are no longer really in any rush. And I guess this is dependent on 
the rest of the journey being as played and sailing as it has been so far, but fingers crossed. Right, so we did have a leisurely lunch. Uh, in fact, that probably went on for a little bit too long because whilst we were doing really well for time, we're now due to arrive at uh, 10 to nine. Um, in fact, it's just gone up a, a, a slight bit. So yeah, 10 to nine, we're due to arrive now. And the sunset is of course at 9.35 or thereabouts. So now uh, we are reliant on there being absolutely no holdups whatsoever. exactly the thing that we didn't want to happen has now happened because now we are driving down the M6 at seven miles an hour but by some miracle we seem to be speeding up so just a possible glitch maybe maybe <laughs> people are braking again ah uh -huh. lulled into a false sense of hope there yeah and the range is already dropping supposed to be heading down the M6 uh, but of course it was chock a block due to some sort of incident so what we've had to do is go down the M6 toll which means that our arrival time to Land's End now is one minute past nine without any stops but we are going to need to stop and not only that but if there are any other hold-ups then we're scuppered The mad thing is, this isn't even invented drama, this is genuine jeopardy. And it started to rain. 299 miles to go, 320 miles range. Welcome to Hopwood Services in the West Midlands, just south of Birmingham, where we are now at the point of genuine, real life, non-fake drama jeopardy. Uh, because of course we've had to stop because we're human beings and you know need to stop to do what human beings need to do um, and we have had a bit of a struggle with some traffic in and around Birmingham now when I say we're at a point of jeopardy we really are so currently our arrival time into Land's End is 21.18 the sun sets as we've discussed at just after 9.30. So we currently have about 10 to 15 minutes to get there. Uh, and just to show you it's all real, there is the current time, 17.25 in the evening, with three hours and 53 to go. Just to make things that little bit more stressful, 271 miles, Waze is telling us, to get there, our current fuel range, 290 miles. Things are now starting to get a little bit tight and I'm starting to wonder why we did this at all. <laughs> well, we're rejoining the M42 now, which is soon going to become the M5. We're going to pray that the road is clear all the way down to the Devon and Cornwall borders. And from there, we pray again for the dual carriageways that take us through the main part of Cornwall are nice and clear. Otherwise, frankly, we are not going to make it the sunset. Amazingly, I have a funny feeling now that we might just do this. We are in Devon, heading rapidly towards the Cornish border. 102 miles to go, 130 miles worth of fuel. We're due to arrive in an hour and 43 minutes. That means 17 minutes past nine. Let me remind you again, that sunset is at 9.36. Now the one and only catch, 
the one and only catch, the one thing that might slow us down, believe it or not, is the crew car that we're currently behind. It's about to run out of diesel. We don't know how they've managed to do this because we both filled up at the same time. Somehow the Bentley has exceeded the range of the two litre diesel crew car. So we are gonna have to stop to get diesel in the Merc. I think we'll do one last switch, give Tim a rest, because Tim's done a good 150, 200 mile slog. And uh, yeah, I have a feeling we might, might just make it in time for a sunset. Now we are gonna risk it, yeah? What do you reckon? Close. Close, isn't it? Go on, let's put a splash in. Two minutes past four this morning, we asked if we could make it all the way down to Land's End for the sunset at the most southwesterly point in the United Kingdom. And here we are. We've made it in what can only be described as a fantastic machine. What a day, what a drive, what a car, and what a view. <laughs> 